Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have the Glen Goyne Teapot Dram Batch 7. I previously reviewed Batch 6. We'll see how this one compares when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, so the Teapot Dram First Fill Oloroso Sherry Matured Cast Strength. This one's coming in at 59.9% ABV. Big shout out to Jasper. He lent me this bottle for review. Let's see how it is on the nose. Just super rich fruit notes coming out of this. Strawberry, raspberry, like that dirty kind of raspberry note. Really kind of like elegant spice to it. Lots of like mild spice, but like a lot of it. Definitely like some clove in there, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Baked goods, definitely get like that Christmas kind of spice aspect to this. Chocolate. I mean, nice deep rich flavors coming out of this one for sure. Really, really nice. Let's go palette. Really rich plum. Again, that chocolate carries over. I like the jammy kind of quality. That strawberry, raspberry come through again. Spice and lots of brown sugar. Really rich brown sugar out of this. This is a great dram. One thing that stands out right away between this and batch six is the heat level. A little bit more tame, I think, with this one while still delivering all that flavor. Um, I think I like this one just a tad better than the batch six. Really excited and um, happy to say that. Um, really do like the Glen Going Teapot Drams. I think it's great value. Even though I think these went up in price a little bit in the UK, I think from 90 pounds to like maybe 100, 110, 120 pounds. Still definitely worthwhile the price, in my opinion. You're getting everything that batch six had. You're getting more refined spices, I would say. Um, more mild, but kind of like an increase in volume and spice level, spice complexity, um, but at the same time, not being overwhelming. Very well balanced with the rest of the fruit, the chocolate. It's an absolutely uh, great dram. Score rise for me on this one. I'm going 88 and a half out of 100. That's a half tick more than I gave batch six. You can check out the review of that one here. As for value, not gonna add or subtract value because this was a uh, loan for the channel from Jasper, thank you again. Um, if you can source this one uh, out of the UK for you know 110 pounds, 120 pounds, I think it's definitely worthwhile to purchase. If you like that big, strong, Oloroso, uh, cast strength goodness. This one does it just about as good as any. Let me know what you guys think. Have you had the Glen Goyne Teapot Dram? Have you compared it to the Glen Goyne Cast Strength? Because I think this one is way better than the Cast Strength version. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support this channel on Patreon, link down in the description down below. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.